Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheet Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now on our last episode, making an EVA foam Assassin's Creed Kukri Part 1, we got the whole build knocked out and it was totally easy. A little time consuming, super messy too because we did like mega dremeling on the blade, we rounded off the top cap of the handle, the bottom half, the super bowl of dremeling on the handle, we tore it up. So big mess um, and a little time consuming, but totally easy. You can totally nail this. Um, which means, in this episode, making an EVA foam, Assassin's Creed Kukri Part 2, we're going to seal this bad boy and paint it. And check it out, it's going to be a little rustic. A little antique looking. We've got the two-tone wood handle. We've got the regular brown and like a lighter brown to make it look faded and worn in some spots. We've got the antique gold around all the handle details. And we've got our dirty, weathered, a little bit aged steel blade. All right, so uh, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, we're out at the spray stand. We are going to coat our Assassin's Creed knife. All right, there we go. Super easy, couple coats of Plasti Dip. Now it's sealed in black rubber. How nice, look at that. All right, like we always talk about, it's awesome when you complete the build. When you finally complete the build, that's a great stage. You sit back and just go, ah, check it out. And then this is the next stage. When you seal it with black Plasti Dip, then bam, it's a prop. Wow. All right. All right, so we're going to come in with our real brown. We're going to start there and our sponge brush. And we're going to get our brown. We're not going to worry about taping off because we're going to be able to just go over it. All right, there we go. We're not going to get solid coverage on there. We're going to leave some kind of darker areas. See how we're doing that? See that? We don't want to cover it completely. We want to leave some darker spots. There we go. See that? We're leaving black spots around because in the photo, some of the brown gets so dark on the handle, it's almost black. So it's okay if we leave. There we go, just like that. See how loose we did that? We left a lot of little black areas in there, which is exactly what we want. Just All right, now we're gonna come in with our raw sienna. It's a lighter brown. Get it kind of on the dry side. Now we're gonna come in because we just want to try to hit some lighter spots. Perfect, look at that. That's all we wanted. Just wanted to come in, get some slightly lighter areas within our dark brown. Whoa, we just dipped our handle in our wet paint. Look at that, yeesh. That's okay, because we're gonna paint over that. That's exactly what we wanted. We got the brown, a 
coat of brown down first. And then we came in with our raw sienna, which is lighter brown, kind of baby poop brown. That's the official term for it. And uh, we just started hitting some lighter areas there. See that? So we just have some tone change. So in there we've got three colors now. We've got black, our real brown, and we've got our raw sienna. Pretty nice. Just so it's varied. Not bad. All right, now we're going to come in with our 14 karat gold. All right, now you've seen this before in some of our paint jobs that the, sometimes the acrylic paint doesn't lay down flat. Almost feels kind of greasy or oily and it doesn't cover all the area very well. So what we do is we get one loose layer down and then as it dries, then we go over it with a second layer going the opposite direction and it fills in really nicely. So. Taking our time, we're being careful. We're just hand painting. Just keep going. All right, there we go. We've got one coat down of our gold around our whole handle on all of our details. And like we said before, it's a little bit thin in some spots because of the way that the acrylic handles sometimes on sealed foam, but it's gonna be great. Okay, now we're gonna set a couple of our small acrylic bottles out. We're gonna set this on top of it just to let it dry. Um, we're going to let this set up and then once it sets up we're going to come in with a little more of our gold and we're going to hit a second coat on there. Man that looks good and we've said this before that there's different stages in making your prop. When you get the thing completely built it is so awesome to see it built in all foam. Completed foam built prop and then Awesome part number two is when you seal it with black Plasti Dip, and then all of a sudden it really looks tight when the whole thing's sealed in black Plasti Dip. And then comes this stage when you start putting paint on it, man, this thing really comes to life. Hard to believe sometimes that this came from a bunch of flat sheets of foam, but there you have it. The wonders of EVA foam. We've given it some time to set up. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna start Hitting it with a second layer. All right, look at that. The gold's brighter now, it filled in in some spots probably all we need to do. It's okay if you can still see a little bit of the black through it because we're going to come in with our our dirty muddy wash when we're done painting this because we want to weather it. So that might be perfect. Sweet. All right. All right. Now, scary part, the blade. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to uh, have to paint it with silver. And then after we're done painting it with silver, we're going to have to come in with the darker gray to do that weird pattern. It almost looks like a wood grain pattern. Um, we'll do that next. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to use our Tamiya modeling tape. And we're going to tape off 
around our handle. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna come in with our painter's tape and we're gonna cover All right, there we go. We've got it all taped off. We did our Tamaya tape around the blade real tight, and then we just did all the loose stuff with the blue painter's tape. All right, now we're going to go out to the spray stand and we're going to hit it with our Rust-Oleum Metallic Silver. All right, here we go. We're out at the spray stand. We're going to spray our Assassin's Creed knife, and don't forget, even if you're in a well-ventilated area outside, do not spray without your respirator. All right, there we go. That easy. Now comes the fun part. Demasking your prop. Not very fun doing all the masking, but it is super fun doing the demasking. Because then we see how crazy awesome it looks. There we go. Oh man, dig it. Now it's looking awfully clean. We can't have that. So, all right, actually we looked at this and I think we screwed up by spray painting the blade with uh, that particular spray paint that we used. It was way too shiny, way too metallic, um, but it's like what we talked about earlier. If you mess up, that's what's so cool about painting your props, is you can just paint over it. So we got our regular standard uh, silver that we use on our axes and some of our metal helmets and stuff like that. A little less shiny, and we painted over it, so that really dulled it down a lot. Much better. That was way too shiny before. So we've got our nice wood handle that's got our little lighter tones in there to look like the woods a little bit worn in spots see that all through there right here on the side we've got our gold details on there so that is much nicer now all right moving forward all right now we're going to come in with our medium gray and what we want to do is we want to just get a little bit of a little bit of tone change in the blade we don't want it to be all solid and we're going to get it really dry. All right, there we go. Now look at the difference. See that? All one flat color on this side and then slight tone change in there, which is exactly what we wanted. Nice. All right, there you go. See that? It's got a little age to it now. It's just got some slight tone changes. There you go. So it's not solid silver. It's kind of broken up a little bit with the medium gray in there. Very nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our brown, our real brown, and our black. And a little bit of water. That's it, just like that. It's 
get our paper towel. Let's get a little bit more in the cracks. There we go. Slightly stained. See that? And then you just pick and choose little areas. Whoa, a little, a little much there, but it's okay because we're dabbing it. Wow, look at that. That is just enough to dirty the blade, get a little grungy in there. Very nice. Wow. All right. There we go. All right, we're gonna let this dry, then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. All right, look at that. Just enough mud on there that we dabbed off to get some darkness. So we had a blade that was too shiny, so we recovered it with regular silver, so it was more matte finish. Then we went in with a medium gray just to break up the tone a little bit. Then we went in with our brown and black mud wash, just a little bit, just to get some leftover grime in there. All right, nice. That is sweet. All right, and with that, that brings our Assassin's Creed Kukri to a close. Pow, there you go. Nice and easy, you saw how totally simple that paint job was. Super easy. Really easy on the brown, two tones. Really easy brushing on the gold. Really easy doing the blade. You saw us mess up, but you also saw a good lesson in how easy it is to cover up your mistake. We spray painted it and it was way too shiny, so we matted it down with some regular silver and then we went in with a couple different tones of gray and then we went in with our mud wash and added it a little bit more in little spots where we wanted it to be a little bit darker and it came out sweet. Very cool. All right, so that concludes making an EVA foam Assassin's Creed Kukri part two. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did give us a like, share us with a friend and subscribe to this channel and together we're gonna go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Oops. <laughs>